where kingdoms all Many heroic deeds that changed the course of historical events, determining the victory. The deeds that showed the world how these legends and the story to young. My lord, thank you for letting me stay in your mansion. Although the night now surrounds everything. Hospitality is sacred to the gods. Anyway, you did not disturb our sleep. I was telling a story, one of the ancient stories of my people. My name is Helewen. And I come from... From Lothriel, the realm of the Lotus Flowers. The land of the descendants of the fairy. I know. You, my lord, are one of the Purins. And not just any Purin. Oh, there are very few of us left now, and maybe it won't be long until only the legend remains of my people. But our story must not be forgotten. That's why I'm narrating my memories and those of my lineage to the young Domineer. Right. My name is Nalfaron Domineer. Honored to make your acquaintance. Forgive me, my lord. And you too, young scribe. For not openly showing my face and not revealing my name. I don't want to disrespect the hospitality you are showing me, but I made a vow to the gods to keep my identity hidden until I have fulfilled my mission. We are certainly not going to make you renege on your vow, sir. I am most grateful for this, Lord. You keep faith to your reputation of a wise and magnanimous man. So, young Dominir, those pages contain the memories of Sir Helowen? Not yet, actually. Before telling me of his life, Sir Helowen narrated to me the main stories that, in very old times, surrounded the foundation of the realm of Lothriel and the birth of the Pyrrhon. So, I suppose he has also told you the story of Theosim, the ancestor of his people. From the beginning. Theosim, the young mortal goldsmith, who for a token of love, wandered off to the high peaks of the east, towards the blessed counties of Lothriel. Thanks to the generosity of his heart, during the journey, Theosin helped many people, all this, to seize some sacred lotus flower. This was the token of love. In the end, Theosin was crowned as king, and could marry the princess he fell in love with. And you know, young Domineer, what happened to those magical gifts when Theosin died? They were buried in his grave. Anyway, although many people go off looking for them, nobody really knows where King Theosin was buried. More than one city on the continent vies for this honor. But who can say what the truth is? But there's something that even Sir Helowin doesn't know. A secret kept silent for two. Now it is time that I reveal it. It's time to tell a lost story. The one of Esselmir and the five magical gifts. Esselmir was a Purin priest, born in the year 1748 of the Seventh Age, under the reign of King Osindel. When he was young, he earned the reputation as trusting and patient because he had a calm and obedient attitude, but he was equally determined to follow his ideas until the end. The constant practice of patience led him to dedicate
the deity appeared to him in the female form of Manasada, and she spoke to him. Asimir, my trusted servant, you are my preferred one among all the inhabitants of my reign. Because, well, I want you to know that, in order to reward you, I will reveal something to you that could change your existence forever. The times are propitious, because it's written in the mind of our Heavenly Father in Kahal that the mortal remains of King Theoson will be found, and particularly the five magical gifts he acquired in life. The golden bee, the mirror, the flute, the bas- Now, if you want to attempt this undertaking, know that you can count on my help, because Monasada is always grateful to those devoted to her. And she never stops showing her generosity to those who entrust her their hearts. The priest, dismayed by this revelation, threw himself at the feet of the lady. Goddess, please. And she replied, Get up, Asimir. I have no projection nor expectation. I'm here just to offer you an opportunity. Saying that, the goddess disappeared, leaving Esselmir alone with thousands of doubts. The priest stayed up to reflect on it all night. Then finally, when he heard the sweet melody of the Song of the Dawn, he made his decision. He would accept the...